right, so here I am, downtown Ferndale, California, population 1,400 or so. Now, I used to ride my bike up and down these streets. My parents had a couple businesses here, the Abraxas and what was called Dave's Saddlery, and I set up my first business here. Now, let's see, first one was uh, paper bag puppets, then I had the Kool-Aid stand, but I was most well-known for the awesome pretzel cart. Five years ago, my foundation, CWK, donated an awesome pretzel cart to the Ferndale Elementary School, eighth grade. Let's see how they're doing. Like. Can I get a cinnamon and sugar pretzel, please? This is how I got my start. At 12 years old, my dad, Jim, helped me build my first pretzel cart. Heck, it only took us six months. It took me a lot longer to get these kind of lines, though. There you go. It has meant a lot to our eighth graders. These kids are becoming career ready, learning how things work. They've learned salesmanship skills, marketing, and how to interact with the public. Thank you. And it comes complete with some sweet dividends. The pretzel cart helps us raise money for the eighth grade trip, and we go to Sacramento in San Francisco. Thank you. Do they give you good tips? Mm -hmm. See, if you tell them what you're doing, if you say, we're in the Ferndale Elementary eighth grade class, we're raising money for our eighth grade trip, so the pretzel's only $4, tipping 10 bucks is fine. <laughs> that was my approach. Some things have definitely not changed since I was a kid. This woman right here was my eighth grade teacher. Now, before I say anything, you cannot ask her questions about me, what I was like was I kid, because she's just going to tell you I was awesome. This is Fran Moyer. Absolutely, Moyer. absolutely. This is a very influential person in my life. When I started the pretzel <laughs> cart, I was in sixth grade, and by the time I got to eighth grade, I was in full force of awesome pretzel cartness. Now, Miss Moyarty, she inspires me to do a report on the history of the pretzel. So we do National History Day, and I win. And you get to go to state. State competition turned into I just automatically won. So they sent me to nationals. So 34 <laughs> years later, the pretzel cart now comes back to Fernando. What do you think of this? Well, I mean, the life experiences that they're getting, the math skills that they're getting, the communication skills that they're getting, it's amazing. It's just amazing. This is the first one of many carts that my Cooking with Kids Foundation has donated to youth organizations across the country. And these young Ferndale Elementary students are making us proud. Hi, what would you like? Cinnamon sugar, please. Pretzels are delicious. I think probably some of the best that I've had. Thank you very much. I would like a little bit of salt and some uh, cheese. Okay. Okay, I like it. Nice and steamed, hot. And here's the cheese. Is it good? It's outstanding. Four dollars, please. <laughs> you never know what it's gonna spark. They've also learned from Guy that anybody from any small town can do great things. Can you make change for 100? Yeah. Can you make change for 100? No. Oh, okay, well then keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory, good job. You guys are doing awesome.